new Kotlin tutorial and today I'm going to explain you about Kotlin all the essential things that you need to know fundamental things so if you are learning Kotlin then I will give you some tips and tricks so today my topic of discussion will be object oriented terminology and uh, today I will be explaining all this important terminology that you need to know about object oriented terminology okay so it uh, obviously includes class objects property methods and stuff like that the visibility of a class constructor of a class so let's go and stroll and see what uh, programmatically how it looks like and how how does it work okay so let me put it on the side let me go to the code let me create a class how do you create a class uh, fundamentally a class the structure of a class is first thing is a visibility public second is a class keyword the third is the name of class and the constructor obviously uh, which is a primary constructor then obviously the body and the body includes of properties and the properties can be mutable or immutable that is uh, and also even property has their own uh, private or public modifier let me make this uh, private mute immutable sorry table property which is of type string and this is private value whereas you can also create a public mutable property which is of int and which has a value of this number right so these are properties and now the another interesting thing is like you can also have a method and method is uh, simply a function which is doing something right which is which has a method of doing and performing some function actually so also actually also your method can be private or public as you prefer uh, and uh, the visibility i mean to say and then you have all uh, you have also the um, like uh, uh, the the property here like maybe pro property of um, of a type int and also the return try type is boolean okay so this is a simple structure of a uh, method then obviously it's gonna do something return true because the return type is boolean right so this is a simple structure of a method and this entire thing is a this entire thing is a simple structure of a class okay so it's um is a huge concept okay this is object oriented terminology and concepts that is um, um uh, that i have just uh, recently uh, described to you okay so now uh, i would like to explain you about uh, the visibility as you can see we have a various kind of visibility like public private protected and internal right so what let's understand the difference uh, so public i saw i told you public it's uh, public by default by default is public so even you can remove this right so like the, the compile is not given uh, going to give you any error and let me create a private uh, class okay uh, class and uh, this private class uh, uh, sorry i <laughs> i forgot the key keyword class so i create a private class which has a properties obviously which is private um, and let me make it x for simplicity and uh, let me make it 12 and let me create a private um, function method which is simply uh, doing nothing you know let's see which uh, okay which is simply doing nothing okay so okay which is simply uh, let me make it mutable so that this method will change x from 12 to 24 okay and uh, okay so if i want to access this private class from here how can i access that okay let me go here and try to create a property to access this class okay let me go here actually uh, uh, let me create a bar object 
one which is of type uh, private class right so as you can see here what is he saying is giving me error the compiler is giving is saying public property exposes is private type private class make uh, private class public so in order to make this class access that means to create an object of this class which is private i need to make this public if i make this public i can easily access this right but if i make it private i cannot access this class so this is the the difference all right so between public and private and um, obviously you can make this uh, accessible by making also the property uh, private okay so now here you can access it but still uh, you cannot uh, like uh, for example in, uh, object one you cannot access any methods which is pri private like uh, methods i cannot access neither the methods neither the property here in the, uh, even if i declare this class so actually you know i can declare the object of this class but i cannot access all these private methods or, or functions okay but if i want to make this um, uh, property accessible like x i have to make it public okay so if i you go here you can access uh, x here right now as you can see here and right now i can print this uh, this object okay and obviously it's gonna print out to uh, print out the x value okay uh, 12 but if I you uh, want to access the method and try to uh, mutate the value I can also make this public okay so this is the simple descript uh, uh, difference between public and private so now uh, protected so what is the difference between protected okay protected is actually also um, uh, same as private but there is a slight difference and the slight difference is a uh, uh, subclass can see it if property is private so sub the, it says that the subclass can see this protected value so let me create a um, open outer class uh, Okay, let me create outer class uh, which has uh, sorry sorry I always forget the class keyword sorry okay that's it and uh, let me create a, a protected inner class okay in a protected class inner class right so this is a protected class i mean there's a protected value okay i mean like right now i'm trying to descri describe you about the, the class but actually you can also have a protected property right uh, uh, pro property and which is of type int and like the value is uh, uh, okay anything Oh, sorry which is of type string okay and um, yeah let me create our, uh, uh, the property of also this class you can also have a property inside the inner protected class which is um, uh, y cool so let's see how if we can create some object of this class okay so let me create a object to and access this uh, inner class actually you know i cannot access the inner class uh, if you can see here i cannot uh, access the inner class because i don't have uh, uh, the inner class is protected and which is inside the inside the outer class right so let me create the outer class okay yeah. the object of outer class yeah outer class is i can access the outer class because it's open class and um, okay i would like to understand how i can access this inner class to access this inner class i need to make a subclass this class as a subclass of outer class 
so if i make a subclass of this outer class so this is like an inheritance okay this is another important concept object oriented concept that is inheritance it means it's like inheriting this class is inheriting all the important properties of this class okay and uh, let me create uh, object to and access um, inner class yeah for the moment i can access the inner class but even like i cannot um, uh, like uh, ac access this um, inner class you know i have the to access uh, this inner class i need to make this private okay because it's a protected value or protected or private cool so this is the difference guys so and um, another interesting thing is let me make this private okay in our class and uh, okay let's create uh, uh, let's print uh, and let's access the protected uh, property okay like I have object 2 which is inner class mm, object 2 and I want to yeah because this is uh, is public okay I can access y let me make this protected yeah if I make it protected I cannot access y no I cannot see y right <laughs> so yeah this is the difference okay to make this public okay so this is uh, the um, important concept of visibility and finally we have an internal so what is this internal uh, if you create an internal keyword with the class uh, internal actually this internal class is uh, accessible uh, in your whole module you know anywhere in the same project in the same module because the module is something like okay i will explain you what is a module like if you go to the project you can see if you go to your app source uh, okay actually it's uh for the moment we have only one module you know okay i will try to explain the module in this way like for example if you see we have only one module that our module is my cool app that app as you can see here so we can have similar in this way we can have different modules okay i mean like we can have two or three application for three or four flavors so you can have in this case you will have three or four modules right so uh, so maybe for one feature having one module you can make this internal means the another feature will not access this um, pro, uh, this class you know so that is the difference so in this case uh, internal uh, like keyword will be uh, very helpful and uh, yeah so uh, okay I think I explained you about the visibility uh, case so I would like to create explain you about the constructor for the moment so what are uh, difference between primary constraint and secondary constructor okay let me create some cool classes which is uh, obviously a public class and uh, which is a uh, class with constructor okay class with the primary constructor so uh, this constructor has a value val um, x int uh, or y boolean all right so this is the simple co constructor okay and it is a primary constructor of a class we can have one or more secondary constructors okay uh, let me give some space so that we can understand it okay and how do we create a secondary constructor to create a secondary constructor we just need to have a keyword and uh, this and in this uh, we have to pass uh, the value like for example I need a value x is an integer let me pass 2 and y is a boolean this is true okay so also z is a 
integer let me create this secondary constructor also you can have create a secondary constructor with its own attributes okay or properties so uh, and here in the constructor you can modify like you can say uh, z equals to x plus y uh, you cannot say z but you can say uh, sorry because y is a boolean uh, maybe you have a property bar is a value and it's a integer and this is zero initially so you now your value can be x so this is a constructor that is uh, inflating this value okay i mean like in the sense like um, mutating this value uh, this uh, okay so now i would I said I, you can create one or more secondary constructors. You you can also create another secondary constructor, which is like a chain of constructor with this. That means I want to create this constructor with respect to z, and then the value can be let me pass uh, twenty three. Okay, so finally the value you can also modify this value with. Uh, uh, Yeah, you can also actually it's an empty constructor, so it's not in, not not taking any parameters. So you can uh, create this constructor uh, by passing this value. Okay, so you can uh, the value is passed from here. Uh, you can say like the value is. Uh, x okay because actually the x is uh, coming from here the parent uh, okay so this are this is the chain of constructor like um, so this is a, a constructor which is not taking any parameter this is a constructor which is taking one parameter and this is a constructor's primary constructor which is taking two parameters so let's try to access this class let me create an object okay let me create a object uh, 3 and which is a class with constructor and um, uh, I would like to create a simple class which is a class from this constructor okay with the chain of constructor secondary empty constructor okay so now let me create object 4 with a class with a constructor but secondary constructor with a non-empty secondary constructor empty constructor okay so actually i'm i need to pass z in this value so uh, my z value will be 23 okay as you can see the z is 23 so now i have i create an object uh, 5 with uh, sec primary constructor now uh, which is uh, let me create the value two four five three four five and also value is false okay so this is a primary constructor okay so i guess you guys know about the constructor you can create the various constructors and like um, primary and you can have multiple secondary constructors and uh, stuff like that but um, the best practice is always use a primary constructor and uh, if you declare a secondary constructor you have to always use this and pass the required attribute attributes right this and pass the required attributes like you have to always chain it actually the meaning and then uh, that's it but the best idea is always you to create the primary constructor and uh, it's much easier actually and like this is best practice to use that and uh, usually you can create secondary constructor uh, you can create a helper method like maybe function uh, helper method to create 
constructor okay you can create a helper method to create a constructor and uh, yeah you can obviously create a, a class with a constructor and you can create a helper uh, sorry this is a function so it has to always have a bracket okay you can always uh, create a helper method as you can see here I, I create an empty constructor but you can always create a helper method to pass like x uh, x equals to um, 23 23 uh, and y is false you see like you see like you can create a uh, also create a A helper method to create a, a secondary constructor so this is much uh, better rather than having creating constructor like this okay so this is the best practice while writing I mean writing code okay so and um, uh, yeah okay so finally I would like to also explain you the difference between uh, uh, writing a val and uh, without writing a val so what is the difference the difference is actually when we whenever we create a proper this is like um, okay this is like a property okay and this is not property that means you can access this value whereas you cannot access this value property sorry I have to change everywhere okay so actually the difference between this and this is with the val degree lesson is uh, in the constructor is uh, this is a property so you can access this property whenever you create an object like for example uh, okay let me access this property let me print uh, ln okay what is uh, object uh, 5 actually object 5 if you see object 5 I want to access uh, 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 object 5 what is object 5 yeah I can access only this property which is declared with the val or bar mutable and immutable right uh, so uh, I can access property and value uh, as you can see here I can access only property and value I cannot access this uh, uh, not property okay I cannot access this not property the compiler will give me an error if you, uh, the compiler is not able to access it right you can only access property okay so this is this was the difference when you create the um, constructor uh, in this way and I guess I explained most of the interesting topic I mean interesting concept about uh, this object uh, oriented terminology and uh, yeah guys um, so if you guys have not subscribed yet just please subscribe me and support me and i will be coming with uh, some cool uh, uh, amazing tutorials later on uh, so catch you in, again in uh, my next, next tutorial and uh, thank you